This video will provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to download and install Weblink Desktop, create a Weblink account, and how to flash your Maestro module on a Windows-based PC computer. To begin, go to www.idatalinkmaestro.com and click the Flash Your Module button in the upper right-hand corner. A window will appear and display Opening Weblink Desktop to Flash Your Module. Since Weblink Desktop has not been installed, click the link to get it now. A new page will display and on the right-hand side you will see options for downloading Weblink Desktop for your operating system. Click the Download button located next to the Window OS. Once the download is complete, open the executable file from the lower left-hand corner of your browser or from the Downloads folder on your computer. A window will now appear requesting the app make changes to your device. Click Yes. A second window will appear asking you to agree to our end user agreement. Next you will see the Weblink driver installation. Leave everything selected and click Next. You will now be prompted to select the location where you want the Weblink program installed. If you wish to change the location, do it now, otherwise click Next. You will see a progress bar followed by a window that says Welcome to the Device Driver Installation Wizard. Click Next. Once the installation is complete, click Finish. Locate the Weblink application on your desktop. If you did not choose to create a desktop icon, then locate it from the search bar by typing in Weblink. Once opened, you will see an option for login credentials. You must create a Weblink account before you can flash your device. If you do not have a Weblink account, click the link to sign up now. The Demo Mode button at the bottom of the page will not allow you to flash your device. This is only a demonstration of how Weblink Desktop works. You can complete a test run of the flashing process, but it will not flash a connected module. After selecting the Sign Up link, a new window will appear. Enter your information into all of the available fields. When finished, click Sign Up. An email will now be sent to the address that you have entered. You must verify your account before you can log in. Using your computer or a mobile device, open your email and locate the message from Weblink titled Activate Your Account. If you do not see the email from Weblink, be sure to check your spam folder as it may have been sent there. Open the message and you will see a box that says Confirm My Email. Click this to complete your Weblink account activation. A new window will open and you will see a message that says your account is now active. Return to the Weblink desktop application and enter your credentials to log in. Once you are logged in to your Weblink account, connect your Maestro module to your computer using the provided USB cable. Next, select the Flash Maestro button on the home screen. After your device has been detected, you will see what the model number of the connected module is as well as the serial number. Scroll to the bottom of the page where it says Embedded Device. This is the firmware for the built-in Bluetooth to ensure the BLE is up to date, click Reflash Embedded Device. Once the update is complete, click the Redetect button in the lower right hand corner. You will have three options to begin flashing. Select Flash by Vehicle to begin. To start, enter the year, make, and model of your vehicle. Next, identify your steering wheel configuration. Make sure the image matches your steering wheel exactly. Next, choose the radio make and model you are installing. To speed up this process, use the search filter at the top of the screen to locate the radio model number. If you are installing a Maestro compatible radio, you will be prompted to enter the radio serial number. If you enter this incorrectly, an invalid serial number message will appear. Next, select the recommended firmware version that is displayed. Now choose the accessories you are using for the installation. In this step, you will be prompted to select the features you want to add or retain for your installation. In most cases, these will all stay selected. If your vehicle is equipped with a factory amplifier and you are replacing it or it has already been replaced with an aftermarket amplifier, be sure to deselect it from the menu. Next, you will be prompted to configure your steering wheel controls. 
There will be a preloaded configuration that we have suggested. However, you can change any of these commands to your preference. Maestro offers two commands per button, a single press and a press and hold. Once you have completed your steering wheel configuration, select continue to go to the next step. Now you can review the details of your programming. If you wish to make any changes, you can jump to any of the steps from this screen. If no changes are required, click the flash button to download the firmware to the Maestro module. Once flashing is complete, disconnect the module from your computer. Be sure to download the installation and owner's guides for your vehicle. The installation guide may have more than one vehicle associated to the PDF. You can quickly navigate to your vehicle by choosing it from the bookmark tab in the PDF application. If you did not download the installation guide before closing Weblink Desktop, you can download it from our website. Click the menu button in the upper right hand corner and choose Guides under the Support section. Choose Radio Replacement and enter the year, make, and model of your vehicle, and then enter the radio information. You will now see a list of both install guides and owner's guides available for download. Also, don't forget to download and print our convenient wallet card, which is a visual guide to your new steering wheel control configuration.